Okay, so exercise 9-2. Levi Company uses the perpetual inventory system and they allow customers to use two credit cards um, in charging purchases. With the SunTrust Bank card, Levi receives an immediate credit to his account when it deposits sales receipts. SunTrust assesses a 4% service charge for credit card sales. The second credit card that Levi accepts is the Continental card. Levi sends it, its accumulated receipts to Continental on a weekly basis, and it is paid by Continental about a week later. Continental assesses 2.5% charge on sales for using its card. Prepare journal entries to record the following selected credit transactions of Levi and Company. So on April 8th, they sold merchandise for $8,400. They had a cost of $6,000, and they accepted the customer's SunTrust bank card. The SunTrust receipts are immediately deposited into the bank account. So what's the journal entry for April 8th? Well, we debit cash. Do we debit anything else? Credit card expense. Okay, what's the credit? Sales. And we know for a fact sales were how much? 8400 so we can put that there. You got to find out what to apply to cash receipt because they charge what type of fee? 4%. So 8400 times 4% gives us how much? How much? For 8400? So that's going to be our credit card expenses, the 336, which means the cash we received was how much? 8,064 dollars. Okay. We accounted for sales here, and if you remember back when we were doing merchandising, when you account for sales, you also have to account for what? Cost of sales. So to account for the cost, they told you it was 6000 What do we debit? What do we credit? Debit cost of goods sold, and then credit merchandise inventory. for that 6000 All right, April 12th, sold merchandise for 5600 that had a cost of 3500 and accepted the customer's Continental card transfer, 5600 of credit card receipts to Continental requesting payment. So what's the journal entry to show this sale? Because they're not getting cash for it just yet. It's going to be a week before they get cash. So we debit what? Accounts receivable, credit, or debit. Credit card expense. And credit what? Sales. We know the amount of sales should be how much? 5,600? 5, 5,600 times, what's Continental's rate? 2.5%. 2.5%, so 5,600 times 2.5% is what? How much? 140? So that'll be your credit card expense, which means that uh, accounts receivable should be how much? $5,460. And then since this was a sale, we account for the cost of sale by debiting what? 
cost of goods sold. And credit merchandise inventory good for $3,500. And last transaction, April 20th, received Continental's check for April 12th, less service charge. So on April 20th, we've, we're receiving the cash from Continental. So we're going to debit what and credit what? Debit cash, credit, accounts receivable for how much? $5,460. Okay, exercise 9-5. At each calendar year end, Macy's Supply Company uses the percent of, of accounts receivable method to estimate bad debt. On December 31st, 2015, it has outstanding accounts receivable of 55000 and it estimates that 2% will be uncollectible. Prepare the adjusting entry to record bad debt expense for year 2015 <coughs> under the assumption um, that the allowance for doubtful has a, a, a $415 credit balance for adjustment. So what method are they asking us to use for this? Percent of what? So for A, assuming that there was a credit already there, 415, what do we debit? What's the journal entry? Debit what? Credit what? What do we debit? All these journal entries for adjustments are always the same. So what's the debit? Bad debt expense, what's the credit? Allowance for doubtful. So. In order for us to find out what amount needs to go here, you had a balance of what? What was the balance of allowance for doubtful? What did it say up here for letter A? $415. And we are using the percent of accounts receivable, right? right? So our accounts receivable balance was how much? 55,000. 55, if we multiply that by what percent? 2%? 1,100. And we need to just bring that here. Um, that's your estimate. So, how much is the adjustment that we need to record for? $685, so that's what goes here. Letter B, what was the balance? And... Aren't we use, are we using the same percentages? Yeah. yeah, so we can simply just say our estimated here is still 1,100, which means the adjustment will be for what? What's the amount? You said how much? Eleven hundred plus two hundred and ninety one dollars. Because remember it says two ninety one was a debit balance, which means you do what? Add one thousand three hundred and ninety one. If you are doing anything other than what we're doing, stop.
Next problem. Exercise 9 dash 6. Daily Company estimates our collectible accounts using the allowance method at December 31st. It prepared the following aging receivables analysis. The first thing we're supposed to do is estimate the balance of allowance for doubtful accounts using the aging method. So if we had to use the, the aging method, we have several groups here, right? We have 0, we have 1 to 30, we have 31 to 60. 61 to 90 and over 90. So what are we calculating here? What was for zero? 396,000 times what? Which gives us what? 3,960. Zero to, I mean, uh, one to thirty. Ninety thousand times two percent. How much? Thirty-six thousand times five percent. How much? Eighteen hundred. 18,000 times 7%. How much? 60. How much does all of this equal? Next requirement, it says prepare the adjusting entry to record bad debt expense using the estimate from Part A. So we know that was 11820 It said assume that the adjust, unadjusted balance in the allowance for doubtful is a $3,600 credit. I'm sorry. Yeah, $3,600 credit. So we know the journal entries don't change, right? We debit bad debt, expense, we credit what? Allowance for doubtful. Now, how do we go about finding the amount? You're subtracting. Well, what are we subtracting? What was unadjusted? Unadjusted. What was unadjusted? 3600 3, And then what was the estimated balance? 11820 So if we subtract our unadjusted, what do we get? 8220 But then this next one, what's the balance now? It's not a credit now, it's a debit, right? So we know the journal entry is a debit to bad debt expense. We know the credit is allowance for doubtful, um, unadjusted, was 100 dollars and we know our estimated was eleven thousand eight hundred and twenty which means our um adjustment should be what how much eighteen hundred eighteen hundred and twenty because you add 